superstar football mark. Uh, he's got a pretty long tournament this weekend in respect to getting back into his touch and flag. So what we've done now up to this point is we built a good foundation of control for his athleticism, particularly improving his posterior chain activation, his core control, expressing movements more or less through his core. We're going to fold over, my friend, do the arm movement or the rotation. Yeah. And during that time, we've also allowed him to control his weight distribution, which has opened the door to so many other things where we've gotten intensive workouts and then technical workouts such as the one that you're looking at now. Now this is actually progression from another program we gave him where we were literally controlling his articular rotations or controlling his ability to put his hip in intentional internal and external positions. With that, it's freed up space into his shoulders. It's freed up space into his core. It's allowed him to breathe better and in turn give him more focus. And he's really noticed a noticeable difference when he's playing. So as we keep progressing, now we're getting into more fine tuning or really particular movements for creating even more hip space. This is something that he can apply. Kilo? Yeah. This is something that he can apply before workouts, before his football, before his sports, to help articulate or help control those particular positions that he'll end up in when he's squatting, lunging, changing directions, using intensive movements. It's also helped free up some of the inflammation and the constant impact that he's building as he's doing these particular engagements of activity, his sports, his workouts. It allows his body to recover properly and also allows him to kind of go back to feeling 100%. So again, we've progressed a lot of these movements. And as he does this, yeah, he could fold over and do that one, yeah. over? Yeah. So you're gonna try to screw that foot upwards. The back, or the front foot, sorry. Yeah, that one, yeah. Now if you can, Mark, you're actually gonna bring this leg back in line with the profile. Not this one, the one that you're using. Yeah. Okay. And from these particular movements, we've kind of alleviated some of those smaller strains and sprains and tightness issues he's had because we've just essentially been able to be more aware of our positions, create more space and stability in said positions. And through all the exercises that we've done, he now is aware that when he's in these lengthy positions, he can be in control as opposed to momentum and velocity taking over and putting him in compromising or risky position. The more we explore, the more ranges of motion we give him, the more it'll become intentional and the more he'll have less likeliness for injury. So kudos to him for putting in all the work. And remember folks, we want to progress with parameters set in place. We wouldn't start with this aggressive stuff. We had to create a good foundation first and foremost.